What am I doing today? What am I gonna eat? What should I wear? Does it matter? What time's my orthodontic appointment? Okay, but where am I going? What's this with video about? So lately I've been struggling with decision making every day. My relationships, my career, this YouTube channel, this video even, and I've been catching myself zoning out, overanalyzing things, paralyzed by uncertainty because when we're overwhelmed with endless possibilities, it's comforting to know I at least have control over my choices. But I know better than that. I know life is life is what happens. Life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. You're busy making other plans. Of course, it's more about walking your path, embracing it head on with confidence, as opposed to overwhelming yourself with doubt and constantly redrawing your plans. Right. But first, I need to charge my phone and thank the sponsor of this video, Ugreen. As you guys may remember, I absolutely love these Nexo chargers from Ugreen. I bring them with me everywhere I go, but lately I have been looking for something a bit more powerful for when I'm traveling because I just have too many devices that support fast charging. So I was super psyched when Ugreen announced their very first 300 watt multi-port GAN charger with a single dedicated 140 watt output port. This thing can charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro from zero to 56% in just 30 minutes. It can support fast charging for five devices at the same time. You go to a hotel room, plug this thing in with its long cable and your entire workstation is powered. It is compatible with smartphones, tablets, and laptops, whatever devices you have, whatever you're doing, this thing has you covered. Intelligent distribution of output current ensures fast charging without hurting any of your devices. And it even monitors its own temperature in real time to prevent overheating. This thing is smart, it's durable, and it's beautifully designed. This Ugreen Nexo 300 watt charger is the last charger you ever need. So check them out in the links below. And thank you to Ugreen for sponsoring this portion of the video. Wait. I'm late for my appointment. <laughs> Lately, I've been contemplating the sheer number of decisions we have to make on a daily basis and how many of them do we actually even mentally register? Do they even matter? Like if I just fully surrendered control for a week and was just on autopilot making decisions completely randomly, would there really be a tangible difference in my life a month from now? The amount of time we spend on decisions, whether they're trivial or monumental, thinking they shape our path, but what if the randomness of life actually cancels out the impact for most of these daily choices? Are they even worth our time and effort then? Hi, I have an appointment for Scott. Welcome in. What time is your appointment? So I ended up needing to see a dentist and an orthodontist. And after one of these, and then one of these. We have a little bit of narrowness on the top teeth. I was too. faced with more decisions. We have some crowding. But there was only one thing I, I could think a great about. Candidate for Invisalign create a better and healthier bite. Can you send me this file? I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but. Sure, I'll email that to you. An IMV file is not an easy one to work with. You can open it for free with Invivo Dental Viewer, but that's view only. With a $40 standard license, you can get Invivo Lite to fully open the file and convert it to a DICOM format. Then using a free open source medical image viewer like Horos, you can convert that to our favorite STL format. But it's not done. Since this was only a partial 3D x-ray scan, the STL is gonna be very broken. Now there are experts online who specialize in cleaning up broken 3D models like this. So I have two options. I can pay this guy who quoted me $400 for it, or I can spend three to four days to learn how to do this myself. $400 or four days. $400, four days. I should probably just learn how to do this myself, right? It would be wise to pursue this course of action. Like a 3D scan, turn it into the clean a 3D scan using the mesh mixer software. Select and heal. And then go into sculpting and then just smooth everything out. All's gone. We're good. It ended up taking me 28 hours over four days to learn mesh mixer and clean everything up. I found the skull 3D model by Trayology, which I used pieces of to complete my partial x-ray scan. I measured the size of my teeth and set up blocks that were the same size in Blender so I could ensure that the skull was scaled to as true to life size as possible. After seeing how big the skull was going to be, I realized I didn't want something so big to just be decorative. I should add some sort of functionality to this thing, right? Yes, trusting your instincts for they are true. 
I carved out some areas for housing electronics, and now the skull is ready. I found this button on Amazon that when pressed it plays pre-recorded audio files. I recorded a bunch of yes, no, and maybe answers onto it. Then I took it apart and migrated all the electronics to a simple voice box I designed for the skull. Lately I've been struggling with making decisions, my relationships, career, and this YouTube channel, and all this drove me to create this after coming out of a visit with my orthodontist. Are my problems now solved? Has this skull fixed my life? No, that is not within the realms of possibility. Yeah. Of course not. Sorry to disappoint, but life isn't that simple, is it? There are many questions I have to think about carefully and countless decisions that still carry such anxiety-inducing weight. If only it was as simple as making a talking skull that can answer my questions and make my choices for me, but... You know, I have been using this for small life decisions though. You know, non-critical stuff. Maybe, but remember, nothing comes without sacrifice. <laughs> okay. Many of the decisions I make on a daily basis and all honestly don't amount to anything anyway. I don't really want to invest any more time and mental capacity into these decisions that are drowned out by the randomness of life. So this is like flipping a coin because why not? Who better take care of those mundane decisions than this impartial inanimate object, this recreation of my skull, it's fun. But you know, honestly, this wasn't the outcome I anticipated, but the creative process, much like life, often leads you to unexpected results. Daily decision-making can feel random and even challenging at times, but it's actually part of the creative process. You have to embrace those tangents and trust that they'll take you somewhere interesting. Um, speaking of process, should I maybe make a video about my creative process? We'll see. Anyway, I wanna give a huge thank you to Dr. Bacow, Dr. Truong, and Megan from Inspired Orthodontics for letting me shoot in their beautiful office. It was really cool to see how much 3D scanning and 3D printing technology was used in this field. They offer an amazing service, so if you're in Seattle or Bellevue and need braces, Invisalign, or any orthodontic treatments, check them out at inspiredortho.com. And also, thanks as always to my friends and family who helped me with this video. I realized making videos, especially ones around DIY projects, can usually be a pretty isolating process. I gotta spend days and weeks shooting footage, 3D modeling, and editing it all by myself. And as much as I enjoy that process, I think it's these moments when I get to work with other people, brainstorm ideas, and just talk about these projects that make them even more fun for me. Even reading through all of your comments or getting random messages from you guys on Instagram can sometimes actually make my day. So I really appreciate you all being a part of this. It really is the people around these videos that make them worth making. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Thanks for watching.